Hey guys, this is Nash and this is MIUI 10 ROM on my Redmi Note 4. Now this ROM is available for Redmi Note 4 and OnePlus 5T. And in this video, I'm going to review this ROM and also will let you know if it's worth daily driver or not. And at the end of this video, I will also show you how to install this ROM on your phone. So let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about the design. I can say it's highly inspired by Meizu's Flyme OS, but still in a way it looks more appealing than stock Android that you get in almost every phone. So this is MIUI's personal skin on the top of Android, and I must say Xiaomi has done a great job on their skin. Considering we have skins like Samsung skin or LG skin or Oppo and Vivo skin. So when we swipe down for our notification drawer, there is a blur here and it definitely looks clean and neat. And even status bar looks different than stock Android. As you can see the time is on the left. So currently in Android P you get time in the left but before that on Android Nougat or Android Marshmallow we used to get time in the right. And of course we have traffic indicators that helps a lot if you have limited data and you see this battery icon it looks like capsule and I must say it looks better than stock Android's battery icon. So the contrast in notification drawer from white and blue is inspired from Android P and this brightness slider and this volume slider is of course inspired from iPhone 10. But it looks beautiful. So this is a great mixture between Android P and iOS 12. So this is the kind of home screen you get in almost every Xiaomi or Redmi phones. There is no app drawer, so you can just swipe right or left. If you want, you can install Nova Launcher like me. And when you swipe left, you see this Google Now kind of feed, which is not in the English. And that's really helpful. And also one more thing, did I mention is based on Android Nougat. This latest Xiaomi OS is based on Android Nougat. How amazing is it? But don't get hyper because you get all the Android P features anyway in MIUI 10. So it is based on Android version 7.0 Nougat and the security patch is from 1st May. So this room is safe if you are concerned about security. So now let's go to setting menu and when you tap on my device here, it takes 2 seconds for all the specs to appear. There is a 2 second lag here guys. And the reason this Redmi Note 4X written here is because China treat this phone as Redmi 4X and for other countries is Redmi Note 4 middle. So the setting menu is quite organized and of course there are some features and customization in this room because it's MIUI. So there is a tab called MIUI lab here in that you find picture in picture mode which is Android OYO feature and also you find car mode. Now this feature is also available in Samsung phones because Samsung provides that in their stock rooms. And then there is Mi Theme Store, definitely outstanding theme store, it has plenty of themes available. Now this is not a English theme store, it is Chinese theme store, so not all the themes will be available here. But still there are many themes available, so you can install it. You can completely customize your status bar, notification drawer, your setting menu. In short, you can change complete user interface using these themes. And this outstanding feature called Xiaomi AI is working, but unfortunately for that you have to learn Chinese just because it's not working in English. Yes. So then we have this good looking weather app called MIUI Weather. The design of this app is really outstanding and there are plenty of weather information here and the one I like most is 24 hour forecast info. And in the tools folder here, of course, you get this Mi calculator, Mi file manager, there is audio recorder here, screen recorder here, and of course, Mi AI, which is not working in English, and the very famous compass here. Okay, now let's talk about this recent menu. So this recent menu is introduced in Mi UI 10, which definitely looks different than stock Android, even it looks different than Mi UI 9. But unfortunately, I didn't find it smooth. There is some kind of lag here when you are using this recent menu. Now let's talk about the camera. 
Of course, you get Mi camera here, and it's a huge upgrade from Mi UI 9 camera. Everything is changed, especially the user interface. Now you have this short video option along with your video, photo, and panorama mode. And the amazing thing is, you can shoot full HD videos at 60 FPS. No other phone or no other custom ROM can do this. And the weird thing is, the latest Redmi Note 5 can't shoot videos at 60 FPS. That's amazing and weird at the same moment. And in my installation video, many people ask me if I can install Google Play services or Google Play apps or not. As you can see, I have already installed Google Play Store here and I can easily install any app from Play Store here. As you can see, I have already installed Chrome, YouTube and Facebook. Also, the animations in this room is on another level. Just have a look at this bouncing animation here. And in the privacy, you get inbuilt app lock here. So, you know, you can easily hide your apps like Tumblr. So hit that like button right now if you know what I mean. Now let's talk about the battery life. The battery life is really good on this room. I got around 9 hours of screen on time. As you can see after using almost 4 hours, I was at 56%. And at the end of that, I got 9 hours and 25 minutes of screen on time. So is this room worth daily driver? Guys, there are definitely some bugs here and some lags, but still this room is worth daily driver. You can use this room for now as your day to day room. Soon it will get more updates and after that we will have final MIUI 10 room. So I'm going to give this room 4.2 out of 5. And now I will show you how to install this room step by step. So guys, installing any room is a risky thing. And if you want, you can buy this advanced USB 2 here. I will drop that link in the description. I use this device to store my Android backup. So first of all, download these two files. Obviously, the first one is MIUI 10 ROM and the second one is lazy flasher file in case anything goes wrong. So once you download them both, now it's time to boot into TWRP. So as always, before you do anything in TWRP recovery, make sure you take full Android backup for your own safety. First go to wipe and perform full wipe, then go to advanced wipe and wipe everything except internal storage. Now go to install tab, locate MIUI 10 ROM and make sure you uncheck zip signature verification. Now swipe right to flash the room. This process might take around 5 to 10 minutes. So guys, right now when you're watching this video, I'm testing MIUI 10 thoroughly and soon I'm going to make full review on that. So once installation is finished, tap on reboot and ignore this message from DWRP saying there is no OS installed. So the first boot will take around 10 minutes and if it takes more than 50 minutes then you need to go to TWRP recovery, flash lazy flash zip and then reboot again.
So that is how you install MIUI 10. So links for Redmi Note 4 and OnePlus 5T I will drop in description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel. This is your friend Ness signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.